I think we got to talk about patient zero. So here's the thing, guys. I mean, when Trump came down with COVID, I mean, we all felt sorry for him. And the first thing Biden and Harris did was suspend their negative ads and send their prayers and well wishes, you know, like human beings. So, of course, as soon as the president was up and about, he repaid their kindness by giving the first black and Indian woman on a VP debate stage a little shout out on Fox Business. And this monster that was on stage with uh, Mike Pence, this monster, totally unlikable. And she is. She's a communist. Well, someone's feeling better. <laughs> Jesus. I, mean, I love how monster and, and communist aren't insulting enough. He's got to get unlikable in there because she is, you know, a woman. Nasty. God, if you're hoping a scary brush with mortality might make Trump's heart grow like three sizes, nope. Uh uh. I mean, he's got an enlarged heart, but that's the KFC, not the milk of human kindness. If anything, if anything, COVID has made him more psychotic. I mean, look at Kim Jong Donald whipping off that mask while he's still wheezing and just spraying coronavirus everywhere like a plague lawn sprinkler. Hey! The White House is not your personal snot rag. Stop it. People who want to live work there, and you shame them out of wearing masks. Nice going, Wheezy. Now his campaign staff are down, his Joint Chiefs are down, that creep who's supposed to be designing his gas chambers is down. Even the guy who carries the nuclear football is down. Which, you know, whew. <laughs> I mean, thank God. I mean, don't get me wrong, I hope he recovers, but not until the guy with the codes comes down off his anti-COVID cocktail. It was China's fault, and China's gonna pay a big price what they've done to this country. China's gonna pay a big price what they've done to the world. China will pay a big price for what they did to the world and to us. Shut up. Man. Granted, it would take an idiot on steroids to start a nuclear war with China, but that's literally what he is right now, an idiot on steroids. And I love how he's presenting himself, right, as all tough, as all tough and immune. Meanwhile, everyone knows he's a super spreader. He was already the nation's number one super spreader of disinformation, which was bad enough. But to be a literal super spreader of a virus that has killed over a million people worldwide, that's not only the nadir of a failed presidency, it's just bad optics. And like any good cheat, Trump's got one more card up his sleeve, you know, right next to that hidden oxygen line he thought the internet wouldn't notice. I think this was a blessing from God that I caught it. This was a blessing in disguise. I caught it. I heard about this drug, Regeneron. It's called Regeneron. We're going to get you the drug. It's going to be free. The drug companies have just made a lot of it. So again, a blessing in disguise. Oh, good Lord. So he's anointed himself COVID Messiah. I guess since his fat ass rose out of that hospital bed after three days, he thinks he's the risen Christ and he can multiply Regeneron like it's the loaves and fishes. First of all, you're not Jesus. I believe Jesus wanted you to pay your taxes. I could be wrong. You know, check your two Corinthians. <sighs> so here we are, folks. The October surprise is that Trump is God's pandemic prophet. The coronavirus Christ child is going to heal us all. Oh, man. I wonder how the American people are responding. I mean, Trump is the president, and he did contract a serious illness. That's got to get him a, a sympathy bump. Sympathy bump in the polls at least, right? Oh, fuck, man. Shit. All right, how much trouble is Biden in? This is a wow. The largest lead of the race for Joe Biden. 57% for the Democrat, the former vice president. 41% for President Trump. What? Oh, is America finally done with Trump's crap? Oh, man. I'd almost given up, but guys, he may be going down. Oh, no. Maybe that, maybe that fly in Pence's head was a sign. You know, like millions of Americans, it was initially drawn to the aroma of right-wing dookie. But eventually... Even it got disgusted and took off. This is fantastic. Oh, okay, all right. I'm speaking to all the people who know they can't support Trump any longer and are barely holding up. Let it go, you guys. Just let it go, okay? Let it go. All of you, 
Just do it now, especially the self-serving sycophants and grifters in his inner circle. You know who I'm talking to. Be like the fly, you guys. Get out of there, okay? You don't care about him, and he definitely doesn't care about you. Now's your time, I'm telling you. And I know we're not supposed to kick someone when they're down, but forget that shit. Kick this nigga, he's down. Do it now. Keep kicking. Someone grab his ankles. Kick. Kick him in the face. I don't give a shit.